So my mama is snapping the fuck out. She on the phone with my dad, right? She in the call with my dad. She like, ow. She like, I'm at Rody Doty School. These, they don't think I said, I will flip this motherfucking school. So the, the principal say, ma'am, can, can you step outside the office? She said, ow, they, they really think I'm playing. Can you please come up to the school? I don't, can you please leave work? Because I'm telling you, I'm about to get ready to go to jail. She hung up the phone on my dad. So the principal say, what do you mean by you going to go to jail? She said, because y'all going to keep fucking with me about my kids and I ain't playing. My kids here to go to school. They ain't here to be Muhammad Ali. They ain't here to be Floyd Mayweather. They ain't here to be in a boxing match. They here to go to school. They here to learn. So the, uh, the principal said, I understand. She said, and for the teachers to be letting that go on it. And so the principal said, so who's jumping on him? So everybody just put their heads down. I'm like, yeah, who flushed his shoe down the toilet? My mama looked at me. She said, Rody Dot, if I tell you, don't say nothing else until I tell you to one more time. I'm going to give them a show. I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. So she say, don't be sorry no more. Now she turned around. She say, so where my son shoe at? Or somebody going to be buying him another pair of shoes? So the boy, he looked, he said, the one I choked, he say, I flushed his, I tried to flush his shoe down the toilet. So the principal say, why you do that? He like, because he called me a jerk in class. And so he said, but that's not a reason to take somebody's shoe. He like, how did you get his shoe? He like, when we went to gym and he was changing, I grabbed his shoe and I ran with it and I put it in the toilet and I grabbed his, his clothes and I threw them in the bathroom. So the principal say, but why would you do that? My mama say, yeah. Why, why you thought why you thought it was okay? You don't know. Do you not know he got a crazy family? Do I'm fucking local. Look, call his mama. So the principal say, hold on, we're gonna handle it now. She say, call his mom. I wanna talk to the mama. I wanna ask the mama. This I, I wanna talk. So my mama doing her hand like this. Yo, this is how my mama was at every G. Pay attention. My mama say, call his mama right now. So he crying, right? So the girl was like, so one girl jumped in that I guess that was in the group like, yeah, but uh, Caleb, he turned around and he pushed my book off the desk. So Caleb said, yeah, because you try to stick your feet out to try to make I, make make to try to make me fall. She said, yeah, because you're weird. So my mama said, and you weird. She said, you ugly, actually. So the principal told my mom, she got to step outside the office. So my mama said, I'm not stepping up. You know what? If I got to step outside the office, my kid, you know what? Y'all come outside the office. You know what? Because we're going to wait for their mama. So the principal like, well, you, you, you got to hold on. You just got to wait. So she said, I ain't going to hold on. I'm going to leave at your office, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be waiting for their mama. So he said, we're going to call you. Can we call you? Because my mama was raising so much hell inside the office that they didn't even want to wait until the parents or until they called the parents to the people that was trying to jump on Caleb because it was like four or five of them. But it was more people that didn't mind jumping for the, the captain of this group that this dude was running because he they supposed to be game, kind of game related. They just bullying people. Caleb wasn't the only person they punked. So so they bust out and said, so the boy was like, yeah, because she's scaring me. So, so my mama said, uh-huh. Your mama going to be scared too. Matter of fact, I'm going to let y'all do whatever. You, you going on here, principal. Give me a call when their mama come. You calling their mama today, right? You calling their mama today because everything that's happening is happening and it's keep happening and it's keep happening and nobody's stepping in. Now I'm asking nicely before I go up over your head. So the principal say, yes, I'm going to reach out to, to their parents. So my mama say, let's go. They got me fucked up. So we walk out. So I'm like, oh shit. So I turned around. I say, yeah, next time I'm like, I'm going to choke you until you pass out. So my mama grabbed me by this. She said, suck on, let's go. I'm like, no, ma. She said, no, nah, if I say shut the hell up, shut up, damn it. I'm like, no, nah, they stupid as hell. She said, no, nah, they ain't, they, they ain't going to know what's going to happen right now. So we gets in the car, me, her, Caleb, we in the car, right? Mark in the car, we in the car. We go home. We drive home. We don't know why we drive home, but we drive home. My mama changed her whole wardrobe, all right? She put her bonnet on. My mama is dressed up, ready to fight, all right? So my mama say, she on the phone. She talking to my dad, because my dad, I guess he must have made it to school. So she say, Al, come to the house. She say, these motherfuckers trying to pull it with me, out. They don't even know I'm motherfucking crazy, Al. They don't know I will motherfucking turn that motherfucker up. 
Thank you. They gonna keep playing with boo bags. So she get off the phone with my dad. She on the phone now with my nana. She say, I just left motherfucking came to school. We finna kill these motherfucking kids. These elementary kids don't even know. They don't know. I'll fucking stop. I don't give a fuck about them kids. I'll beat they ass, go to jail, and I'll be out later. So she just having her moment, right? So the school called my mom's phone and basically say that, hey, we're going to have a meeting at 7 o'clock to be up at the school. Now, if we all know in New York, it's very fucking busy. All right? It's traffic. We stayed in Buffalo, New York, so it's very, it, it got a lot of traffic going on. My mama say, I'm going to go out here to the bar and I'm going to have my shot and I'm going to have me a, a sip of my, uh, she said, I'm going to have me a sip of my drink. I'm going to have me a shot and I'm going to smoke my blunt. My mama go out there. She do her thing. So Mark come out there. He like, hey, how I look? So Mark got on like a black beater, black Air Force Ones. He got on these black shorts, but they like denim jean shorts with some cuts in there. He like, I say, well, it look like you kind of going on a date. He like, no, nah, I'm going to put on. My little, he had the little gloves with the fingers out. So he like, so he practiced. I'm like, why you going on me? He like, yeah, he like, just in case they brought somebody or they brothers or they sisters. He like, I'm a hit girls. He like, all I got to do is just tap the girls. I said, Mark, look, first off, we're not hitting no girls, bro. We're not hitting no girls. We could just push the girls off. So my mama said, come on, let's motherfucking roll. And I'm ready. So she said, I smoke my blood in the trunk. So we driving. My mama just driving. She got her glasses on, right? So my mama take her glasses off. We pull up to this real life. I will never forget this shit. Me, Mark, and Caleb. We in the truck now. I'm on the passenger seat. I'm on the passenger side. Me and my mom is like best friend when it comes to like ride or die type shit. When it's time to like get down, throw down. We on the same team. So I'm on the passenger side. We pull up. Skirt by, by this other truck. All right. So this dude and this girl, they looking at my mama truck. Now my mom got a nice truck. She got TVs inside that bitch. My dad got that bitch decked out for her. So she got her music playing and she like, uh, it's playing R. Kelly with that Fiesta, Fiesta. But he like, uh, with it, their whole remix, like, he like, uh, how, how it goes? He like, pull in the hotel lobby at the party. It's my hotel. You know what I'm saying? She bumping the R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? She bumping her music, her type of choice, salt and pepper. So she feeling herself. So when she come up to this red light, her part is on. All right, her, her song is on. So she looked over there. She turned her head. She said, Tch. she grabbed her glasses off the dashboard while we was at the real life. She popped the glasses on. She looked over there. She had it kind of like slight, the guy kind of off. She looked at them and she pulled off while the light was still kind of red, but it was about to turn. You know that moment like where it's about to turn green, but it's still red. My mama pulled off. She said, fuck, they looking at Boom, we hit the other corner, we pull up, right? So now we sitting in the truck in front of Caleb School. So my mama said, y'all wait right here. My mama running there. She let the principal know that we're, we're here. We're just going to wait for them to call us on the phone, and we're going to all come in. My mama come out. So my mama walking down. She, you know what I'm saying? She switching. She, these Leos, man, they be buck wild. She coming out like, I wish a motherfucking bitch would say something. She get a truck, so she had her little cocktail on the side. She say... I'm going to tell y'all something. If me and your dad die, y'all better have each other back. I don't give a damn what's going on. She's saying right now it's going to be a prime example because I'm willing to go to jail on killing any of these kids in here and their mama. And she say, matter of fact, Mark, get out the truck. So Mark, get out the truck. She said, I'm going to pop the back truck. She popped the back truck to the Cadillac truck. Now my dad had a gun in there, a 38. Okay. So she said, Rody Doty, you always shoot. I always used to shoot with my grandpapa. My grandpapa used to like doing different things. He liked to hunt, camp, rock climb, all type of shit. So my grandpapa used to always take me, you know, shooting and shit. You know, I'm a teenager, so he used to always take me there. And I was fascinated at the time with guns. So my mama say, you put that right in the back. She say, get out the car. So I get out the truck. She put it somewhere in my back, covered up. She said, so look, you grab it with your right hand. I said, yeah, I know what to do. She said, if anybody come any harmful way at us, that's what you do. Because she said, it seemed like this little boy got a lot of people on his side. I'm like, yeah, because they was kind of gang related, but we didn't know that at first. Boom. The principal hit us up, tell us to come in. Now, all the parents, 
to all five of the people, pretty much. All the parents are there, they guardians. Big sisters, the mom, brothers, people that's coming in, I guess, if they not told that we didn't put their hands. But the boy that I choked, his mama, dad, cut the motherfuckers was dead. They was ready to put on a motherfucking real life show. So once we come in, we don't know what we really coming into. So it's just me, my mom, Caleb, the sit, and Mark. It's it. We coming in there, but we're looking like, damn, the boy I choked. We see all his people's like surrounding him. So he point, as soon as I walk through, he straight point at me. 